Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be doing vehicles today. Maybe getting into something else. Um, vehicles can be an extreme pain. And I picked three or four vehicles from the last one you can see. Um, I did this on purpose because we're going to go and I'm going to show you how the quality effort and work that goes into them can really change how you install vehicles. So I went ahead and put, I think, one, two, three, four. I moved those guys, unzipped them so we're not wasting time into here. Um, we're going to start out with the most easiest one. We're going to start out with a legend of vehicles, um, a graphical guide. Like, I love some of the vehicles this guy came out with for, and uh, it's, this is just all around. The documentation, um, you know, you got your vehicle files. He lays it out real. It's just the folder layout is immaculate. Um, the method for install, you could do the files directly, or he's even got an easy install. And we're going to do the easy install and see how it comes out, um, just because... I'm curious, like if I could just drag and drop this vehicle in there, that's, that's pretty legit, it's pretty fast, and um, we're going to start out with this guy and see where this vehicle takes us. Once we put one vehicle in, we're going to go into game, we're going to check it out, we're not going to install six vehicles, guys, and then see if it works. That's why this modding thing takes time. So we're going to do the easy install, um, you know, as always, it says read me, so, you know, guess what, we're going to read me. And boom, this is with the easy install, it's just drag and drop into your main directory. Uh, make a backup beforehand. And, you know, it's it's just, it doesn't get any easier. If you would like to install both da -da 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 -da, together, download this pack. So he even has a directory to where if you want to install multiple different types of vehicles, um, you can go to that location and download that. But we're going to be doing the easy install. Um, I don't even have a mods folder, which works great. That means I'm um, using OpenIV, which we are, and I'll explain that in a second. It's just, it's, it's just 100 straightforward. So we're going to drag this into the main directory. So this would be the main directory, and we're just going to move it to there. And so this vehicle should be in. And I'm going to take a second to get lost in my own computer. And you'll see now that we got a mods folder. But you have to have... Um, you know, open IV. You just have to. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up, and I'll explain why real briefly for this situation. Now, open IV uses a mods folder. While well, that's updating, I guess I'll talk about this. So open IV uses a mods folder, and it what it does is it bypasses some of the normal files itself. So it would originally look into here, because you can see the updates in here. But because we have open IV working, it's gonna allow us to pretty much bypass those that's, that's our current directory we're going to continue I should have set all this up you, can, you guys can tell I just kind of wing it when I make uh, make my videos so we'll let it. We'll let that start up because it's been a while since I used OpenIV as well I'm doing a complete update and I'm pretty much taking you guys with me uh, police. oh my god let me get out of there I don't need to know what's new and how to use it there's our downloads, there's that, and where's our OpenIV? So you can see that the mods folder is different in color in this because OpenIV uses it. But you have to go into here in tools. You have to go into the ASI manager. And then you have to install these. Open camera. Enhances free camera boundary limits and Rockstar Editor. I don't plan to use the Rockstar Editor. But you do need to install the ASI loader and the OpenIV.ASI. That allows it to use the mods folder. So now that we just literally dragged and dropped that car into the game, we're going to go ahead and fire it up. I'm going to close this down. We don't need it anymore for now. We're going to fire up the game, and we're going to go check out this, this car. All right, so now that we're in the game, remember, this is the first time we loaded in. We put an LSPDFR together. We put in Rage Hook 29, and we threw one car in. We don't have a whole lot going yet for us, but we're going to go ahead and check it in a rapid manner. You can see the little... The go on duty icons behind me. And we could go in there, but we're not going to do that. Um, I'm going to show you how to force the duty of LSPFR. It's basically just get a little bit of it going running. Press spacebar and F9, and it'll it'll get you on duty. And you saw I messed up the first time. If you mess up, it's not a big deal. Um, it's just a quick way to force yourself on duty. So now we verified that LSPDFR is working. So far, it's working according to plan. Um, we forced our duty. Now we can use the rage hook to spawn in the vehicle. And I'll show you when we get back out, but it said it was police four. So with keeping that in mind, we can say, hey, spawn police four. And then you'll see right here, this is the car that we installed. 
Um, it's the sheriff's by VX Bugs. It should come with a couple of their lives. Um, but you can just if this guy just he's this this guy's good. Like this thing is just done proper. I mean, very clean job. He didn't go like overboard. Some people like to put like 5,000 antennas on there. Uh, the cages are good. The weapons inside are good. And I want to check out the interior before we do anything else because this guy always goes nuts. Yeah, look at that. Like steering wheel's in a proper place. The computer's nice resolution. Like. Look at the rear view can or mirror. Like that's, I mean, you don't even get in some other vehicles and see a rear view mirror working that well. That's retarded. I love it. So this vehicle's gonna be a stay. Like this vehicle's just awesome. All right, I'll stop rambling. I just really love this dude's work. So we got that. We'll go ahead and accept that. And we're just gonna we'll see nothing crashed when we got onto it. We got our blimps working accordingly. So we're just doing a soft test. Like you guys keep putting in thousands of miles at the same time, and that it leads to issues. So you can see the lighting's ugly because we haven't enhanced any visual effects yet. The siren's the old typical one, and um, you know we're just gonna get eyes on. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna, you know, test normal things, Sp spam that, you know, call for news, get your local air, see if you can get the game to break right now. And right now we're looking pretty solid. Well, we were until he started driving. He took a right. All right, so you can see backups coming accordingly. We got all the old stock vehicles in besides ours. And we're just going to make sure everything works well. This this guy don't even... Oh, he just missed him. We're going to try to stop him real quick. Um, see if we can make an arrest. Actually, you know what? We'll do it right here. Doesn't even matter. We're just going to try to make sure the arrest mechanic itself is actually working. Okay, so we're just going to make an arrest even though we got other stuff going on. Pretty much the name of the game is to break it right now. We're going to see what we can do to it. So, you know, the rest mechanic's working fine. Um, I might have elbows in still. No, you can see we got no other scripts really running. And, you know, that concludes the test for that. Car in, easy install. BX Bugs, you're a mastermind. You're the only guy that can do a drag and drop install. So let's get back to putting in other cars, and I'll show you how quickly it can get complicated and why it kind of sucks if you're downloading from a cut rate kind of guy. All right, so we're going to get a little more complex on this one. Um, I was just briefly looking at it. This is the Taurus one. This is the only files included with it. It comes with the README. Um, I like the README because it's pretty straight forward. It's simple. It's not a Bible of how to install. An important thing to pay attention to is we're replacing the police three vehicle slot. And you remember with this vehicle, I'll show you the vehicle files, we replaced the police four. Even though we did the simple install, the easy install, drag and drop, um, you know, it's important to remember what vehicles you're replacing and from there you can kind of make proper adjustments. So we're going to here. Um, we'll start talking about this a little bit and what that kind of means and we're going to go through installing this. So you can see first things first is it wants us to go into the mods of the X64 DLC patch for DLC X64 levels. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read the whole thing even though I almost just did. And you can see I kind of navigated towards that direction. So we'll go into our mods because it says go in mods, update, x64, DLC, and then we hit our first hiccup. I don't see patch day four. A lot of you be like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Well, we gotta copy that. So we're gonna go back in the Grand Theft Auto 5, and then we're gonna go into the updates in this folder from the main directory. We're gonna go back, tracing the steps again, back in the DLC, and then you'll see patch day four. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy the file, or this folder, entirely. And copy all of it. Then you're going to go back to the main directory, into the mods, into the update, into the XD4, into the DLC, right back into here where it should be. You know, if you file it, that should be right in here. So we're just going to paste that into there. Basically what we're doing is we're making a, pa a backup copy. Like I said, when this game starts up, OpenIV says, hey, look in the mods folder. If this file is in here, then replace it. Don't use the one in the game. So now we're going to be able to go in there, click this. We're going to open IV because this is the portion where you have to have OpenIV for this to work. OpenIV is becoming the backbone of modifying games. Well, not all games, just this game. So you can see we're in this directory. We're going to go into 64, like I said. We're going to go into levels. 
We're going to go into Grand Theft Auto 5. And then from there, we're going to go into Vehicles. Now, this is the segment in here. So we'll go ahead and look up Police 3 because that's the vehicle that we will be replacing. So we have Police 3 right here. And, um, you know, the YTF is the actual viewing of the vehicle. I didn't even notice the tire was over there till now. So here's the stock vehicle um, that's actually in the game. And we're going to be replacing that with the Taurus. So we can go ahead and close that down. And the first thing we're going to do is we can, you know, just... You don't even have to highlight them. You can just click this little plus arrow, add new files. And if it's replacing a file, ooh, we're going to have to find the auto temp Taurus. And we're going to just replace it with all of these files. We're going to throw them straight in there. And we can view it again now. Once we pop it up, now we can see, okay, hey, Taurus is in here now. That's a pretty nice looking computer. Wow, he kind of went crazy too. Well, the steering wheel is a little iffy in the gauges, but he went ham on that computer. Chances are he borrowed it from someone. Not going to rag on him for it, though. Okay, so that part's done. Well, we've got the vehicles in, but there's another critical piece. If you look back, if we go back into the temp folder and we bring up the README again, we've got this car variations. Um, what it does is it kind of sets, you know, what siren they use, all types of little settings for vehicles, data that it needs. And you can see exactly where it's in. It's in the updates again, so we're going we're gonna to do our normal thing. We're going to go to mods, we're going to go to update, 64, download packs, and it's, oh, we hit another. I don't see this file. Well, let's go back into the main directory and look for this file in this area. So we'll bring this back up. We'll go to the main directory. We're going to look for updates, 64, DLC. And from there, we're going to open up this. But actually, you know what? I made a mistake. That's why I said no. So we're going to go to that back to updates. I'm getting lost in my own sauce right now. We're going to go back into DLC. Because it's the same path, but it's now we just need this folder. So we're going to take a copy of this one now. Copy that. Because last time we took this one, the quick and easy drag and drop install from uh, BX Bugs was this one. And we're going to go back into our mods folder. I need more coffee after I'm done with this tutorial video. So here we are back in here again. We're going to paste that into there. Basically we're making a mock directory of the updates folder. But we're just doing the updates folder in here. You can copy the entire updates folder if you want. Um, but I prefer to only take what I need. So we're going to here, and what I'm going to actually do is pull this out, and I'll explain. Well, for now, we're just going to replace the car variations entirely, but when we do our next vehicle, our most complicated vehicle I could find, that has so many issues that I don't even know if it's going to work, when we do that one, I'll talk about why it's important to do your car variations. So once we're in the right directory, and you can see up here the directory we're in, we're going to continue to go down. So we see common. Sorry, I had a little uh, interruption. So you see, we went into, uh, we'll go back again because I hiccuped me. We'll go into common, we'll go into data. And from there in data, we see the car variations file that we need. Now for now, it's simple. It's really straightforward because we're doing our first vehicle that requires this. Um, we're just gonna throw that in there. We're just gonna plop it straight in. And you can see the size changed. It was 29 or 28, now it's 31. So police three has been entirely replaced. And what are we going to do? We're going to do the right thing. At this point, we're going to stop. We're going to stop. We're going to fire up the game. I'll see you in game. We're going to try to spawn police three. And we'll see how it goes from there. We Last time, we uh, we did police four. And we'll make sure police four is working well still because we changed other things. But we're also going to do police three, the one we just replaced. Spawn police three. And we'll see how this goes. Boom. So we just got our other vehicle that we just threw in there. And the install was completely different. Well, I could have went to that level of detail with this one. This vehicle over here. But uh, we chose not to. I'm going to install other liveries in that one. I'll probably use the Crown Vic as well. Uh, let's check the lighting. Looks pretty good. I like that. Looks pretty solid. And again, you know, our lights look like trash right now because we didn't enhance any visual settings. Um, I like to drive the car around real quick. Make sure she kind of handles right. Find a couple of curbs put it up on there see if the whole frame hits it or if it works right so you know we got a completely separate car now we got the Taurus in um, in slot number three we got the Vic in slot number four um, we're gonna work on changing the liveries for that 
and I think we're gonna go now we're gonna install the charger in the number two slot and we're gonna see how things go with that and we're just gonna bump it up from there all right so we're gonna keep this one because I still want to do more with that one check out the liveries maybe even do the uh, the dual car install but we're done with the Taurus that's now gonna occupy the third slot I like the way the vehicle looked and handled well um, we're gonna be putting the charger in too don't worry but let's go in here and see what's going on so this the charger's already slotted to replace police too but you know We'll go ahead and look at it. So this is what we'll be throwing in there for two. It's going to be a little high pursuit thing, high speed. I don't know how I feel about that RAM bar. But we're going to read the README file. The first thing that makes me scared is the Bible. Like, well, besides all these nulls. Um, it makes me a little bit leery. So what we'll do, as you see, it says we're going to be going to the same file area. So we're going to be in past day four. Um, straight into the vehicles, which you guys should be already familiar with now. So we're going to do that real quick. We're going to go to our mods folder, not the update folder. Go navigate straight through the same place. We've done this already before, so you guys should start feeling more comfortable with it. The way they structured the files in 5, they did it just to really confuse the shit out of us, I think. Or themselves. That's like what happens when a game grows so damn big. we got to navigate back to it. We'll go to 4... DLC X levels five vehicles and let me know if I'm going too fast for some of you guys I always wonder because I'm always digging around in these files hmm. let's see what police vehicles we got. I think we only have police police three is the only one in there so let's double check make sure yeah, that's where he wants it we're gonna throw it in there anyway and we'll see how it comes out it makes me a little bit leery but I have faith Go into here, go into our temps, we're installing the charger. And I noticed a couple of fix me's like be be wary of kind of this and that. So we're gonna read the readme a little bit finer detail. So here's the charger. Went in pretty fluidly. Um I'm gonna use my trainer probably to remove components from there. Um let's see if we got it. Boot door tail light indicator wheel C extra that's those extra that's those extra that's the ram bars extra three i was really hoping to find i was looking to see if i could find which one the front bumper was so i could figure out an easier way to remove it if i didn't like it uh, boot that's probably the trunk body shell i uh, will figure it out at a later date so we got that one in. That's going to be occupying the second vehicle slot. It should be when we spawn it in. And now we're actually going to go and look. So we replace those with the provided. God, he straggles all the way down here. If the file doesn't exist, add them to this DLC. Okay, so he answered it on the far side. And then to fix falling of push bar. Hmm. Go to mods, update five vehicles, men, and a notepad. Search for police too. So we're gonna go down there and, and this is these flags I was telling you about. So let me oh my god my phone's going crazy. We're gonna navigate to exactly where they said. Which we'll go to updates. We'll get rid of police so we can see other search results. So let me back up again because now we're going to have to go back out here because we ran into another file that we don't have. So it's time to get it. So we'll go to update and we're going to have to copy and paste this guy now. So we're going to take a copy of that and put it in there. We'll do it in the appropriate folder though. This, not temp, not temp. No more tutorials after this. I'm losing my mind guys. So we're going to copy this. We're going to bring it back. Now we're going to put it in our mods folder because now we're deciding we, we need to modify um, this as well. So we're going to go back into the... You got to mock the direct... The, you got to mock the directory. There it is. So it's in the updates. Update is sitting in the updates. So I go into mods, update. Update was sitting in the updates. I'm going to paste that in. Then I'm going to open that with OpenIV because we want to edit something in there. We want to modify that. Anything you want to modify from its original file state in terms of these cars, you need to put into your mods folder. And at any time, I can delete this mods folder and revert my game back to its, you know, unmolested state, as a lot of people like to call it. So we're going to move that out of the way just so we can see. So once this go into common, data, let me get rid of that phone. 
into the levels, Grand Theft Auto 5, and you'll see that there's a uh, vehicle meta file in here. Um, what I like to do is I don't like to edit it in here. I like to extract it and then we'll edit it from where it goes. So we're doing it for the charger. So I like to go ahead and throw that straight in there. We'll go straight into the temp folder now. And into the charger. And we should see absolutely not what I wanted. We'll try to extract this guy again. Oh, well, that'll do it. Charger. We selected our folder. Our files in here now. And don't even worry about this. If you got Notepad++, just Google Notepad++. It does wonders. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this line right here. We're going to go to pull. I keep trying to downsize it like it's another file. We're going to go to Police 2 if it's in here. I want to find the next. There we go. You want to Police 2. This is the beginning of Police 2. And then from there, we're going to look directly for this line. So we're looking for this line under Police 2. And what he said is to replace it with this line. Ugh, ugh, my brain's not here today. So we're just going to replace this entire line right here with the one we just copy and pasted. We're going to save it. And now what we're going to do with OpenIV so we're going to import the updated one back into it. So we're just going to click the plus sign. This is the one we altered. And we're going to throw it back there and you'll see the encryption's gone. So now we change that. And um, I guess he was having some type of problems with the push bar. We're going to close that out. We don't need that anymore. And let's see if we got anything else. For spawning, always with light bar. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. We can just add that with a component. You saw it spawned inappropriately the first time.